Hello dear students, in this video we will learn something about free fall. So, what is a free fall? Say I will consider a ball, okay. this ball is dropped freely, this is ground. After dropping the ball what happens? The ball will gain some velocity and the velocity of the ball will be increasing and it will hit the ground. The, this ball is dropped, this ball is dropped means what is its initial velocity? Initial velocity is 0 meter per second. Now, uh, we will recollect the equations of motion which we have learnt. What happens to the equation v is equal to u plus a t in this situation? Final velocity on reaching the ground v is equal to initial velocity, initial velocity is 0, 0. Acceleration due to gravity we have seen it is minus 10, I will take minus 10 into t or v is equal to minus 10 t. What does it mean when t is equal to 0, the velocity is 0, the moment you drop the velocity is 0, when t is equal to 1 velocity is minus 10, when t is equal to 2 velocity is minus 20 and so on. Velocity increases at the rate of minus 10 meter per second. Okay. That is why we say acceleration due to gravity is minus 10 meter per second per second or minus 10 meter per second square. Now, we will see what happens to the equation uh, x is equal to u t plus half a t square. Since u is 0, the ball is dropped. So, x will be equal to a is minus 10, minus 10 by 2 is minus 5 into t square, minus 5 into t square. Now, what we will do? We will draw a table. Okay. We will draw a table wherein the first uh, column is time in seconds, distance travelled in meters, or I will write it as displacement, velocity in meter per second, acceleration in meter per second square. Uh, time t is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Let me draw this. When the time t is 0, what is distance? distance x equal to minus 5 into 0 square that is 0. When the time t is 1 second, when t is 1 second x is minus 5 into 1 square that is minus 5. When t is equal to 2 seconds minus 5 into 2 square, 2 square is 4, 4 into 5 is minus 20. when t is equal to 3 seconds, when t is equal to 3 seconds, x is minus 5 into 3 square, 3 square is 9, 9 into 5 is 45, minus 45, when t is equal to 4 seconds, 4 square, 16, 16 into 5 is 80, minus 80, when t is 5, 5 square, 25, 25 into 5 is 125, minus 125. What happens to the velocity, when t is equal to 0? velocity is 0, when t is equal to 1 velocity is minus 10 into 1 minus 10, t is equal to 2 minus 10 into 2 minus 20 and so on minus 30 minus 40 minus 50. And we know acceleration due to gravity is always constant that is minus 10 meter per second square minus 10 minus 10 minus 10 minus 10 minus 10 minus 10. Even when the particle is at the highest point, acceleration due to gravity is minus 10 meter per second square only. Now, we will learn something from this table and which is very important. Now, we will see what is the distance travelled in 1 second. Okay. Distance travelled in 1 second is 5 meter, when t is equal to 0, the object is at 0 t is equal to 1, object is at minus 5, means what is di displacement is minus 5, the minus symbol indicates the direction, 
but actually what is the distance travelled? Distance travelled is 5. Okay. So, distance travelled in 1 second is equal to <coughs> 5 meters. 5 meters. What is the distance travelled in 2 seconds? Distance travelled in 2 seconds is 20 meter or 20 meter. Distance travelled in 2 seconds is 20 meter. What is the distance travelled in 3 seconds? 45. Distance travelled in 3 seconds is uh, 45. Or what is the ratio? If you take the ratio, distance travelled in 1 second is to distance travelled in 2 seconds is to distance travelled in 3 seconds is in the ratio 5 is to 20 is to 45. What does it mean? It is in the ratio this is 5 into 1, this is 5 into 4, this is 5 into 9. So, it is in the ratio 1 is to 4 is to 9 and so on or I can write this as 1 square is to 2 square is to 3 square and so on. What does it mean? If a body is moving in a constant, constant acceleration, here acceleration due to gravity is constant, no. So, therefore, free fall is also an example for motion with a constant acceleration, then distance travelled in 1 second is to 2 seconds to 3 seconds should be in the ratio 1 square is to 2 square is to 3 square. We can use this for any situation. Okay. Now, what we will do? We will see what is the distance travelled in uh, first second. Okay. So, I will uh, erase this. What is the distance travelled in first second? Distance travelled in first second is equal to 5 meters. Okay. First meter distance travelled is 5 meters. What is the distance travelled in second second? This is very important. There is a difference between distance travelled in 2 seconds and distance travelled in second second. Means, at the end of 1 second, the body, the ball has already travelled 5 meters. Correct, no? At the end of 2 seconds, it is at 20 meters. So, what is the distance travelled in second second is 20 minus 5 that is 15 meters. Okay. Distance travelled in second second is 15 meters. Distance travelled similarly distance travelled in third second is 25 meters. At the end of 2 seconds, the ball is already at 20. At the end of 3 seconds, the ball is at 45. So, what is the distance travelled in third second? that is distance travelled in 3 seconds minus distance travelled in 2 seconds. So, what does we get? 45 minus 20 is 25. Similarly, distance travelled in fourth second is equal to distance travelled in 4 seconds minus distance travelled in 3 seconds that is 35 and so on or distance travelled in first second is 5 meter, distance travelled in second second is 15 meters, distance travelled in third second is uh, 25 meters. What is the distance? What is the ratio? What is the ratio? This is this can be written as 5 into 1, 5 into 3, 5 into 5, 5 into 7, and so on. Or this is in the ratio 1 is to 3 is to 5 is to 7. These are all odd numbers. And this law we call it as Galileo's law of odd numbers. Once again, distance travelled in 1 second is to distance travelled in 2 seconds, distance travelled in 3 seconds is in the ratio 1 is to 4 is to 9 or 1 square is to 2 square is to 3 square. Distance travelled in first second, distance travelled in second second, distance travelled in third second, that in the ratio 1 is to 3 is to 5. This is we, we call this law as Galileo's law of odd numbers. Galileo's law of odd numbers. Now, if we plot here using this data, we can plot one uh, x t graph, we can plot one v t graph, and we can plot one a t graph, acceleration time graph also. How does the x t graph look like? See, x uh, coordinates are minus negative, 
what is xt graph in xt graph position is taken along x axis this is minus x axis sorry minus y axis position is taken along y axis time is taken along x axis ok uh, we will plot when t is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 say i will call it as this is 1 second huh? 2 seconds 3 seconds here uh, it is up to 125 now nah? i'll take it take it as i'll write this as 20 40 60 80 100 and so on now we'll see when t is equal to 1 second distance is 5 so if this is 20 this is 10 no so this will be 5 somewhere here it will be 5 5 okay when t is equal to 2 second distance travelled is minus 20, these are minus here, this is minus y axis, when t is equal to 2 second distance travelled is minus 20, this is minus 20 here. Okay. When t is equal to 3 seconds distance travelled is minus 45, so this is uh, 60, this is 50, this is 45, I will write 45, this is the point. When t is equal to 4 seconds distance travel is minus 80, where is minus 80 here, t is equal to 4 seconds minus 80, this is minus 80. Now, how does the graph look like? The graph looks like this. Now, what is this? It is a parabola, it is a parabola and it should be a parabola because we have seen what is the what was the equation for x, x was equal to minus 5 t square correct na? and v, is, v was equal to minus 10 t. We used these two equations to write the values of x and v. So, if you look at that equation, that equation was in the form of y is equal to b x square, that is the equation of parabola and because of that minus symbol, now the parabola is inverted okay. and we should get a <coughs> parabola and we got it and we know that uh, already we have studied in x t graph, if there is a constant acceleration now constant negative acceleration this should be the graph or v t graph how does v t graph looks like if you look at that equation it should be a straight line because this is in the form of y is equal to minus m x ok y is equal to m x plus c is an equation of uh, straight line here c is not there means y intercept is not there means y intercept is 0 the graph should start from the origin and it should be a straight line and it should have a negative slope the graph should come like this ok if you plot also you will come to know so t is equal to 1 seconds t is equal to 2 seconds t is equal to 3 seconds time so velocity say this is uh, minus 10 this is minus 20 this is minus 30 okay t is equal to 1 second velocity is minus 10 t is equal to 2 seconds velocity is minus 20 t is equal to 3 seconds velocity is minus 30 yeah if you yeah this is a straight line and the slope is negative what is the slope minus 10. So, that is acceleration due to gravity. So, this is x t graph and this is v t graph. How does the a t graph looks like? So, I will draw a t graph here, acceleration time graph, this is time, this is acceleration. Here acceleration is minus 10, no? whatever may be the time, whatever may be the time, acceleration due to gravity is minus 10 only. So, so t is equal to 1 seconds, 2 seconds, 3 seconds and so on. So, here I will write minus 10, okay? minus 10 t is equal to 1 second also acceleration is minus 10, here also acceleration is minus 10, at all times the acceleration due to gravity is minus 10 only. So, I get a straight line, this straight line is parallel to time axis. So, what we have learnt? The ratio of distance travelled in 1, 2, 3 seconds etcetera are in the ratio 1 is to 4 is to 9 and the distance travelled, ratio of the distance travelled in equal time intervals what do you mean by equal time interval? See, first second means time is 1 second only, second second means time is 1 second only, time interval is 1 second only. Say for example, 17th year means what? 17th year, once you com complete 16 years, 16 to 17 that time span is then we call it as 17th year, 17th year means what is the time span? 1 year, 18th year means 1 year. So, first second means time interval is 1 second, second second is time interval is 1 second, third second means time interval is 1 second only. So, if there is a constant acceleration, 
the ratio of distance travelled in equal intervals should be in the ratio 1 is to 3 is to 5 and we drew the we drew the x t graph, v t graph and uh, a t graph. Since it was a constant acceleration, it should be a a t graph should be a straight line parallel to time axis. X t graph, we know the equation of x that is in the form of y is equal to b x square, it should be a parabola because of that minus symbol, we got inverted parabola and uh, equation of velocity, it is, it is in the form of minus m x, slope should be negative, slope should be negative and it should be a straight line. 